Chicago has the third largest school system and has a 52.2% graduate rate. Three out of every 10 in the nation fail to graduate. 1.2 million public high school students drop out every year. Students in the city of Chicago are 30% more likely to drop out than in suburban areas. Three out of areas. every 10 in the nation fail to graduate. One out of two African Americans graduate in 1. four 1.2 million people public public school of school students have dropped diploma. out. But we are not just numbers or trend in statistics. We are in fact people who aspire to become something better despite the challenges we face. look at the media society everybody always assumed that works for uh, dropouts because they attend for dropouts to start to fail and be, be enough statistic at jail, poverty, babies and stuff like that so on. So what were the reasons why we dropped out? Um, I ended up dropping out of high school for a lot of things. One of the main ones was family problems. Had a lot of issues, family emergencies, made me miss a lot of time out of school. A lot of time I couldn't catch up on. Is it Challenge. I wasn't motivated to do anything, so it kind of felt just out of the norm. Cause usually I do go to school. Well, cause of the gang banging and you know people steady telling me you know I'm a GD or a SD, some kind of gang banger, and coming out my head all the time. And I never bring my work home. I had to always watch my back walking home. And even when I was on the football team and stuff, you know, people would always come over there and pick with the football players and stuff like that. You know. And one time it got so bad where the a team member actually got shot while we were practicing. Our research shows most people would rather drop out of a regular high school and attend an alternative school. And I always thought alternative high schools were really, really bad. Like that one, because they have a lot of bad people in there. Well, before I thought it was going to be all, you know, bad or whatever, but all, like all of them, like bad schools and stuff like that. Bad, I thought this was going to be the worst of the worst students in there. Term school just for bad kids, you feel me? I thought all the bad kids went there. You know what I'm saying? Every kid who was bad went there. For bad schools, like where all the kids who were in jail. And it's really, really bad. These kids are criminals. They come they come from juvie straight up. For game bangers, for people with drug addicts, for people that, you know, are in jail and who fight a lot. Just people get in trouble. The dumb kids or kids with behavioral problems. I didn't want to get stabbed in the face with a pencil or anything. But basically wilding out. Maybe not. The alternative schools are actually not as bad as we thought at first. They can help you get your diploma and you can be on your way. So you know what I'm saying? It was good for me because now I'm getting all A's and B's, you know what I'm saying? Make, I'm doing all my work, I'm doing good, I'm participating in a lot of things, so I turned to school, it was very good, so just pick the right one, like West Town, you know what I'm saying? We very good, and I love my school, though. I got a chance to have a whole new reputation, you know what I'm saying? I want just being known for the goofiness, and like in North London, I was being known for being goofy and getting kicked out of class and being in fights and all that other extra stuff. It was like, yeah. He was just automatically knew, like, oh, that's a smart kid, you know what I'm saying? He quiet, he keeps to himself. That's what I wanted to be known for to begin with. Yeah, at first they want to judge me and say, you know, that, oh, you must be a bad kid to go into alternative high schools, telling me that, you know, you must have did something. It had to be, you know, you were gangbanging or drug dealing or something up in that school, or just not going to the school, basically, you know, ditching all the time. And it wasn't nothing like that. Just people, you know, they judge their book by the cover instead of getting to know the person first. Personally, I can't, I can't actually comprehend well with like 40 kids in one class. All of them talking, and this teacher got to go to every last one of them. By the time she gets to me, I don't understand. If anything, I think just the simple fact that it gave me time to realize like the seriousness of the situation and how serious it was for me to get an education and come back to school and make something out of my life. Because at the time, I really didn't care, you know? Like, I didn't care, like, ah, whatever, I'm blowing that off, but it gave me time to reflect on everything that was happening around me, and all my friends were getting locked up, and just so many things were happening around me that it's like, I was going down the wrong path, basically. And I didn't want to do that, so I came back to school, got back on the right path, and yeah.
I know I always told my grandfather before he passed that I was gonna finish school. And that I always wanted to be the first male in my family to graduate. So me being that, it would encourage me. I really thought about it and I really said, well, man, I can do this. I can do this. And I had the potential to do it because people told me. So I came back to school. Coming back to school not only affected me, it affects everybody around me. My friends, my family, especially my little nephew. He looks up to me and I don't want to see him look up to me being what? Gangbanger, like, so in jail, you know? I want to see him look up to me and I'm going to be like, what? Somebody who made it, somebody who went to college, has a good career. Because I want him to be somebody better, you know? So I think that's the main reason I came back. was Not just for me, but for like the people I care about. Is all this media attention helping, or is it making things worse? I feel that the media needs to focus more on the success stories of dropouts who have actually went back to school, continued their education, completed their education, and really have been successful in, you know, creating a new life for themselves. Like, they, they definitely do show more that, like, African Americans or, you know, like, Mexican, like, they're, they're the main ones who are dropping out. I feel the media should focus more on the issue if it's in the effort to prevent dropouts. Many times with the media, when we watch the news or look at TV, they're emphasizing the dropout rates and they're like publicizing the negative side. But I would like to see the media actually, so to speak, flip the script and say we're using this information as a learning tool. Because then everybody else, they get that mentality that, you know, that us, the minorities, you know, we're dumb, we're stupid, we're uneducated, and you know, we're the ones having to drop out. We could definitely make like a difference in that by going back to school, and I think that's why, you know, that's a good thing. That's why um, there are alternative schools, you know, to help us out and to give us pretty much another chance and to sh prove other people wrong that, you know, that we can, you know, be somebody. You can't give up on this part of uh, society. You just can't. These are throwaway kids. It's not about what happens. It's just, you know, people go through different things in life and it's whether up to you if you're going to finish what you're going to do and just prove everybody wrong. Life, life does get better. You just can't give up. Um, the decision to come back and finish your high school education is just the beginning of the rest of your life. You know, you got the, the world in the palm of your hands and you don't even realize it. I can say it made me a stronger man today because I'm back. Back right, back on the right track. I think I'm accomplishing a lot. I'm accomplishing me getting up every morning. It's a responsibility for me to get up. And it's, it's like, I don't have to get it, but I want it. You feel me? So when you want something, I go get it. Yeah, of course. I feel like I'm accomplishing something. I feel like I'm, I'm still going for my goal. It's just crossing a couple boundaries that I had to do. Yeah. I wouldn't change it because I think, I think everything that I went through and experienced has shaped me to be the person that I am today. And one thing I've learned is you learn nothing from comfort. Everything has to come with, everything has, has a sacrifice, everything has you're, of course you're going to be uncomfortable. Everything you learn, you're uncomfortable with. And that's what makes it, that's what helps it stick, is being uncomfortable. Yeah, it makes me feel better about myself knowing that I'm doing something with my life and not, and not just laying around and falling into the streets and gangs and all of the above. We are who we are. We are who we choose to be but we will never be just a statistic.